Yeah. And so, you know, one of the conversations that I have with a lot of beginners, like I'm a moderator of uh, our Litecoin, I'm on Twitter, and people are always asking me questions is, you know, like, where should I store my seed keys? And they tell me that they're storing them in a Word doc with like a password protection on it. Oh my gosh. Or they're like storing it in a piece of paper and just like tucked away in a corner. So you tell me like why it's important to, to buy a fire resistant like seed key holder or wallet. Because you're fucked. Can I, can I curse on here? Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Because you're, you're fucked if your house catches on fire and you, uh, you lose your hardware wallet in that fire. And then if you have, it writ- if you have your seed key written down on paper, then um, well, you're just out of luck unless you you know, can somehow remember it. But you probably wouldn't have written it down if, uh, if you had. Here, here's the other thing, the other scenario that I, I'm sure has played out before. And it's, oh, hey, I wrote it down on you know, a sticky note or whatever. Yes. Um, <laughs> and, and then someone saw it, someone who has no clue, oh. and, like they're cleaning up your desk for you just to be nice. And they see a sticky note with like all these random words. And that makes no sense. We're like, oh, well, he doesn't need that. And they throw it away for you. And you don't even have any clue that this has happened until your phone falls in the toilet. And, <laughs> and, and you know, you had, uh, I don't know, like 10 Litecoin on there because you bought them when Litecoin was five bucks. And, and then it turns out, you know, it's worth, a, a, what, what did that be? Like five or 600 bucks now. And <clears throat> um, I, I don't know. I, I just know that scenario has played out and will continue to play out. So having something that's like very deliberate, like you would not throw away the Bill Foddle. It's just like a chunk of steel. Like no one would say that no one would be going through a desk and be like, oh, he doesn't need that thing anymore. Like it, it's a very deliberate piece of equipment. So not that we would uh, recommend necessarily leaving it in your desk drawer, but I bet that's where a lot of people have their seed keys right now. It's written on a, on a piece of paper, stuck somewhere in their desk. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the there is a likelihood of it just getting inadvertently thrown away. Yeah, and like uh, how I'm going to use your product is literally I'm going to uh, write down the C keys of my hardware device, and then um, like I could care less if like my hardware device gets stolen, right? Because it's pin protected. Like if they mess up three times, then it's wiped. Yeah. Uh, but what I, what I care most about is like tucking like my C keys in a in a fire and water resistant uh, location and. Um, so that way it doesn't really matter. Like that's what's important. It's not even so much like my hardware device. Yeah. The hardware devices are, you know, they're built to be stored in public places and connected to infected computers and, uh, ledger, Trezor, keep key. They've all done a really good job on, you know, making them, uh, as I I would say tamper resistant as possible, tamper proof. Um, and so, you know the odds of someone breaking into that are extremely slim. Like you said, you're sh- it's going to get reset if anybody takes it. But the seed keys are what you really, uh, the seed phrase is what you really have to work on figuring out a deliberate way to uh, protect it. So, um, how would you? How do you uh, store your seed keys? Like, if somebody buys your product, right? Uh, what would you? What would be your best recommendation to make sure that um, they'll never lose it? Uh, it will never get ruined in like a uh, fire or anything like that. Like, what should what should be some of the some of the steps that they take uh, to properly secure their seed keys? It might be worth before we answer that question and kind of explaining how it works because uh, since it's not video, people can't really see it. So, it, it is a stainless steel housing unit with these little slats inside, and we provide you with several hundred tiles with various letters or numbers on them in varying cases, just depending on what kind of, you know, if you're putting your key in there, it's going to look a little different than a little than a recovery seat, obviously. So uh, you get you get these tiles and you just slide them in one by one such that you spell out your seed or key and then you can lock the device and uh, and then it's protected. But then beyond that, May Brian wants to answer the question that you had as far as what to do with it after that. Yeah, so um, we have uh, on our FAQ section, um, we came up with a little, uh, we call it the Socrates principle, and it's um, that y- you need to know yourself. So, um, <laughs> you know, I- advanced users can, can and probably should 
uh, institute the 25th word for the seed phrases or, um, or if you're storing a lot of money uh, on them, I would say I would recommend you at least think about it. But well, like I said at the beginning, the number one danger to your cryptos is you. So if you develop some elaborate scheme to protect them, you're probably just going to keep yourself from them. Um, so know yourself and know how much security you're going to be able to remember at one point. And just keep it simple. You know, don't, don't, um, don't put anything... Don't develop some elaborate scheme where there's no way you're going to remember it. And then you have you know, $500,000 worth of Bitcoin just tied up in some wallet that you're never going to get to. So <clears throat> so I shouldn't create a Rube Goldberg machine to access my seed keys, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's a famous scene from The Office that this reminds me of. And I don't know, like if you know the characters, but the the head boss guy, Michael Scott, is kind of a a doofus. And he has this method of remembering things where he's like, Rocks are gray, and gray things are sometimes made of metal. Metal is is hard, yet flexible, like yoga instructors. And yoga instructors <clears throat> are women who are usually dating wealthy men. Wealth is the key to happiness. Oh, I put the key in the cabinet. And then, you know, he goes off and, like, finds his thing. And then, of course, it's wrong. And he, you know, he, he's, his, like, his... His um, stream of consciousness method, uh, it turns out to not be such a great way to remember things. Oh, man, I love The Office. I kind of felt like that show died after he left, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that's uh, not the best way to store your cryptocurrency. Don't, don't be like Michael Scott. So, I guess, to answer your question, how you should do it, uh, if you're protecting any real amount of money uh, for you, and that's going to be different for every person... Um, I would say to look strongly into instituting 25th word just because then if someone somehow comes across your uh, bill foddle uh, or whatever means you've chosen to back up your seed words, uh, they can't just instantaneously transfer it. Uh, we also sell like tamper resistant stickers so that if you know you checked on your bill foddle one day and the seal were broke was broken on the stickers, uh, if you had 25th word protection, then it would give you some time before someone's going to brute force your uh, your your seed phrase. Yeah, if uh, any of my listeners aren't aware, uh, usually seed keys come in 24 words. You can add a 25th word to kind of obfuscate your seed keys a little bit. Um, and so that's what they're talking about there. Yeah, it's just like adding up an uh, extra password um, to your to your seed phrase. So then, you know, the password decrypts the seed phrase and the seed phase, uh, it runs through all your different wallets. Um, so 